Now that you've found UBN Radio and discovered our quality talk shows, it's time to spread the word to friends, family, and the universe. 24 hours of music and talk. Radio without limits. That's why people keep coming back for more. That's UBNRadio.com. The Marla and Dave Radio Experience begins in 3, 2, 1. Now... If you're ready, we will begin. Welcome to the Marla and Dave Radio Show. This is reality radio with a couple that keeps it real. Current events, pop culture, music, relationships, fitness, the hot topics of the day. Marla and Dave Thomas. This is the Marla and Dave Radio Show. Real radio. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Marla and Dave, Dave Show. What's up, people? I'm Marla, back. I didn't think you're actually going to jump in there. I'm back. Somebody new. Don't okay. turn around now. All righty then. All righty then. then. Thank you for turning my mic up there, Tony. <laughs> first of all, I don't appreciate the fact that this is my show and I'm the first one who's trying to submit a remix on Gloria Gaynor's song, I Will Survive, and you're already shutting me down. It sucks. I don't think the remix will survive. You will survive, but I'm not sure about that remix. And anyway. so I'm back. <laughs> Somebody new. She what about insists. The, what about the hand moves? She insists. Anyway... Uh, this is uh, Mad Music Monday, as opposed to Mad Monday, as usual. Uh, and the reason why is, Marla? What? Okay. Again, I see Marla on her telephone. I don't know if you guys can Listen, see that Listen, I want to be sure this show is going to be so hot, rather than not, that I'm trying to be sure that we get that final post to give people a chance to jump in here and join ah, us. Well, you know what? Let me explain what Marla's talking about. Today, uh, we have a couple of hot, young, up-and-coming producers in the studio with us, Sunny Ray and Detox. Which one happens to be our son. <laughs> yes, that's right. And the other one is our, uh, he's our adopted son. <laughs> well, we didn't, we didn't adopt him because we can't afford him. But we have known him and loved him as that's a son right. for We've a very long time. Since he was a, a wee thing. And they both have uh, grown up to be incredible uh, musicians and young men. But that's not, I don't want to talk a, about that. As them. a producer and songwriter myself, you know, I kind of represent old school now, I guess, if you, you really think yeah, about Dave, it. Take Six has been around for a while. You're like a grandpa so, in music. So in order for us to give a true assessment of some songs that are going to be, that you guys sent in for the show today, I had to call on some young, up and coming young producers to represent the new school. Is new school a thing? Uh, is it fleek school? It's just now school. Uh, now school, okay. It's All just right. now. Well, you know, the <laughs> sounds and songs change, but I'll tell you what hasn't changed. And now I'm back. Okay. All Somebody right. Somebody new. So now, now, now Marla's going to represent uh, the people who actually buy music. You know, we can give you our opinion on, what I'm on, re- on creativity, but Listen. Marla is the type of person that if she likes a song, she's going to go out there and buy it. Wow. Mar- yeah, even though they buy them on, online nowadays. Okay, let me tell you, you know, what they, Marla's it, it, actually going to do. It's not like it used to be. <laughs> let me tell you what Marla's actually going to do. Marla's actually... So Marla's going to give us her two cents. Going to let the Simon, the deep, dark Simon cow that's in me out. Hmm. That's right. And if you saw a little kid in my background, that little kid is not just any little kid. He's a special little kid. That's my grandbaby, Michi's man. Now, out, out of frame, you know, we see a forehead in the frame. That's actually Monice, our daughter, and her son's back there, Cameron. They got our, our little grandpuppy is back there. Is and, that official, grandpuppy? Yeah, I think so. We, and, and, and Mimi's in the house. A lot of people want to see, listen to you guys' music. Okay, so let's, uh, speaking of music. We're going to decide what's hot and what's not. Let's get right to the music. Either song. you're hot. Or you're not. My mood's on. Okay, thanks, Tony. <laughs> now, you know it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Both Tony and Marlo over here jamming to the song. That's because we are Ebony and Ivory. We already are touring Yes, team. and Ebony and Ivory did not know who sang the song. Now, that was one of the most popular songs back in the 80s. I mean, it was like club Look, all Dave, day. We're not, we're, Tony and I are not in on this earth and in this music game to be judged by you. What's your mood song? I even had to look it up myself. It was Shannon. Who's that? Yeah, Our cousin? My point exactly. Okay. <laughs> Tony, hit me with my mood song. Don't stop the music yeah. Music. 
<laughs> yeah, that was the jam, son. Yeah, D was a little uh, behind the times on that one. That was before his time. Yarbrough and Peoples, right? Yarbrough and Peoples. Don't stop the music. Yeah. You what don't do you really know? want to stop? No. no. That's the best part. They, you go into a little kid voice yep. there. Yep, so we are going to decide. It's all about music today, and we're going to decide what's hot and what's not. In advance, we want to thank everybody for sending in their submissions. Um, you will not get your songs back, but we also will not be selling, exploiting, or using your songs or the likeness or usage of your songs without your permission. So once they um, are done here, then they're done, but you still have them. So we're just going to play them and give you our feedback. Now, uh, some of you actually sent in more than one song. I'm not sure we have time for the a, whole B, discography and C selection uh, selections, but we were going to try to. You know, it's kind of hard when you do that because that means we have to pick which one they're going to. You know, everyone's going to hear. And it might not be your best foot forward. Speaking of songs and and uh, music, uh, I'm going to depend on my uh, engineer extraordinaire the and DJ, friend the DJ on Tony. Here. To play our music because my clock is yes. not hot. Okay. So we're going to let that go with that. But let me give you, let's go right quick because we don't have that much time to our oh, we weekend. We have some time. We have some time. You got about three and a half minutes. So oh, well, okay. So then let's yeah. talk about our weekend review, which is what we normally do. If you are watching Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, I've not been in the studio since episode five, which is when I oh, made that's right. you were, my debut last you week. You phoned I, in your appearance. I did. I joined week. by Skype, and then clearly my hair was so ugly that Tony finally just said, let's put up a picture and not show her live because she looks a mess. <laughs> and I, that's okay. I appreciate that. I was lounging at my mom's house in Vegas, and I did not have my glam uh, girl, Brooke, with me to hook me up. So thank you guys for just putting up my made up face. Thanks a lot. All right. Yeah. So we're loving it, Bob Hollywood. Um. Wow. Uh. The first episode aired. Um. There. I've gotten a lot of. Um. As they would like to say, clapback. First episode that you were in. What, Haters. What do you What do you think about that, Moniz? Clapback. <laughs> um. I will say this because this is my show. I'm not sure what the problem is with Rich Dollars, but I've since found out that you know, he must have been a little salty because um, even though we are kind of the same age. I must be much older because I don't see the need to shut your social network down so you can be able to post hateful memes. Good one. Yeah, you got you me, buddy. The Not good, really. The, cra the good thing about having your own show is that if you post stuff like that, if I see you again, I'm going to have to respond to the fact that you posted stuff like that. That's all right. We're not going to take it to the real street because that's what real people do. They fight away from security. Yeah, well, they, you know, yeah, I, I don't, don't have, have plastic drink fight. cups to throw on. Right. You know, that's not we how, deal that's with not breakable glass, down. buddy. Keep that in mind. <laughs> anyway, um, th this week has not been a good week for, for tennis and for you. Dave Thomas. Yes. Yeah. It would yeah. be better if you just were like the dude who owned Wendy's. I think out of, the, out of the last three times we played, I lost twice. Yeah, Dave. I'm sorry. Unbelievable. And now, I, I, the first time we played, the, the first time I lost, I, I give myself a pass because I hadn't played in like six, eight weeks. And Wait, I just had deja vu because I swear you said that before on this very show. Dude. Oh, okay. now while, 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 I swear you said while, that. While, you say while that DJ has my namesake, he does not have my back. Ooh. I do have your back, but I'm not even kidding. You said that the last time. <laughs> ah, hallelujah. That kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. But I'm going to say this. That's the truth. I'm going to say this. I gave myself, uh, you know, a little leeway on the first time I lost because I hadn't played in a couple of months. I was getting my timing back. Marla's been playing on a nonstop basis. Uh, oh, salty, But the salty. last time I played, we were both playing at a pretty high level. And I just ran out of fuel. Oh, sorry, pumpkin. My lack of food in the belly came back to kick me in the butt. Tony Let's Fontana in the, in, the room, in the chat room says his mood is juicy fruit. I don't know what's going on in there, but you guys need to keep it together. <laughs> anyway, um, we also want to thank our uh, uh, the guys from last week. Take Six in the house did their absolutely. thing. When Angels Cry came out, you guys are making it pop. Yes, make sure you guys keep sharing the song with your friends. Encourage everybody to get it. It's actually a, it's food for your soul. It's a, it's a beautiful, wonderful song. I love it. Um, there's much more to look forward to, but we're going to deal with what we, we have now. We got nine terrestrial stations uh, added this week and, and satellite radio added this week. We debuted at number 70-something on the 200 charts, so it's moving up. And just know that I'm... pushed the top 10. I, for those of you who can't find me in L.A., I'm about to become um, bi-west coastal. That means I'm going to be flopping back and forth between Vegas and Los Angeles. 
So just, you know, find me in the casino spending no money. And we're going to have to find out what she's doing when we come right back. You're listening to the Marla and Dave Radio Show on the Universal Broadcast Network. Current events, pop culture, the hot topics of the day. It's time for Mad News on the Marla and Dave Radio Show. Ladies and gentlemen, Marla and Dave. All right, this first news piece is actually hilarious. We actually had something for Are You Kidding Me that Marla was looking up. Uh, we kind of go through all the news, news hits online. And I saw this one, this model, and they said, you won't believe this model. She looked really cute. She had on a bikini top. She's a bikini and lingerie model. Then I clicked through on it. You know, sometimes you do that. It's like the Victoria's Secret catalog. Sometimes you just have to look at it. Uh, I clicked through, and the model had no legs. <laughs> She's you know a what, bikini Dave? model and a lingerie model <laughs> with <laughs> waist up. <laughs> no, she, just model she doesn't have. She's only she, a waist. She models oh. for uh, like all the uh, 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 Roxy and all the surfer uh, companies and stuff like that. She was on a skateboard and she was like in in board shorts. Do we, we have kinda, a picture? We have the a picture. Board up? The board shorts were kind of sagging. The, the picture here is the one that they show from the waist up at first. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. It's gone. Anyway, I'll show you again, but it's it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. Um, so, well, the other thing about it is I think that's kind of cool that they would that y- you don't limit someone's ability to be able to be a model. Well, that yeah. was the thing. What they were saying is that she's the she's a, the type of model that actually shatters the image of what a model should be. And well, it's funny, you know, pretty soon they'll have uh, you know, plus size you know, limbless models. Well, and for example, of that if you nature. really think about what's needed, you got to be fair. What's needed to to support? <laughs> you can't just have skinny limbless models. You gotta have plus size. Well, if you're if you're models. doing bikinis, then that's all you need. <laughs> you know, you don't need legs necessarily, right? Anyway, so for okay. me, I thought that was hilarious. Are you kidding me? Anyway, uh, moving on to our he said, she said. This is actually kind of sad, and this this actually brings up a, an important question. So everybody has been following the Lamar Odom story. Lamar Odom found unconscious and Khloe Kardashian is back by his side. Is this whack or is this, I don't know what to say about the fact that, you know, the Kardashians. Are they taking they, advantage it, of the situation? Is it, a, is it another opportunity to exploit? You know, you've, you've, you've exploited uh, Bruce Jenner turning into Caitlyn Jenner. Everything in their clutch is a money-making... Well, they monetize everything about their lives, but, and I will say this, and at first I would say because of that fact, it's not something that's whack, but they've also been uh, having reports online come out that Lamar asked them to stop featuring him on their show. And Chloe yeah, would take phone story calls. Line off. Chloe would take phone calls, and, you know, he didn't want that as part of the show. Did so, you see that Scott Van Pelt was like, went off on him? A lot of people a are basketball player, not a not a reality. A TV lot of star. people are going off on the Kardashians because of that. So you yeah. know, everything is there. Everything, the, everything. You my toy boy. That's what she probably says in the private. I haven't heard her say it, so I'm just saying you can, you can. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, on this next uh, deal, we're going to agree to disagree. This is a story of a lady who stole a car. And she said when she was she was a drunk driver and she ran into several vehicles. <laughs> and when the police stopped her, she said, the devil, I'm, I'm full of the devil. The devil made me do it. Yeah. Now, well, the devil and Jack Daniels are pretty much pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. I well, can see he, that they you know, that's his that's his uh, that's his uh, street. That's, name. Yeah. That's the that's yeah. devil. <laughs> juice. That's, his, that's his street name. <laughs> but I'll put yeah. it to you like this. The bottom line is at the end of the day. When you say the devil made me do it, if you can get him to help pay for some of your, you know, your tickets and your, your jail, your get out of jail uh, fees and everything else, your bail, whatever, well, that might be a, you know, where, he might be somebody that you might want to roll with. Here's where we'll agree to disagree. Through the years with our spiritual relationship and being, you know, Christians, Dave used to assert that the devil, that these would be, you know, things that would be influenced are done by the devil. What I'm saying is... That the devil has influence. Well, there's influence in the world. What I'm saying is when you pick up a, a bottle of liquor and you make a conscious decision at, with not a gun and you and you, and you you put your... <laughs> and you just drink it and then you have you commit a crime, to me, the devil didn't make you do it. Your poor judgment made you do that. Or whatever is driving you, but it's not necessarily 
that the devil, you got the devil on one shoulder. and an The reason why another. we agree to disagree is because I do think that the devil has influence over some people. You I, know, think, and, I think but, yeah, evil is real. There, but there's a way that you can resist that. Anyway, that was the mad news. We're going to get back to our conversation and just kick the show off and have a lot of fun. Don't move. Then get ready for a real radio experience. Real radio experience. Ladies and gentlemen, Marla and Day. Okay, so um, how fitting is it today that we are represented here in the studio by both the old and the new? Absolutely. Let me introduce the musicians that we have, thank you, before us. <laughs> and um, the musicians that we have before us are David Reginald Thomas. Hey, thank well, you Hold very up much. your hand. Thank you very much. Dave The is first. The first. Dave is a member of one of the, he's the, what are you, second tenor, third, fourth? You just slide around, I'm just a do second what's necessary. Tenor. Thank you very much. Um, Dave is a second tenor with the group Take Six, which is, you, your group is world renowned. They're, you're 10 time Grammy winners. You've been around since essentially BC, before Christ. <laughs> so you've done a lot of work. You know, your group has gone from sandals to sneakers. Uh, congratulations, Dave, on all of your uh, many travels. That is a good one. That is a good one. So you're just going to hold still right there. Now Thank to my right, much. I'd like to welcome in this corner the new young hip-hop. You guys aren't really hip-hop. You guys are actually pretty deep in, in the way of genre. You, you cross over. But no to, genre. You're, you're genreless. We're genreless. We, we'd, like no genre. we'd like to introduce this, this hot, upcoming, rising star duo of uh, Sonny Ray. Sonny yeah. Ray. Thank you. And Detox Music who I happen to know a lot about since he f I first gave this young man to my right, a ride right on Uterus Lane. You were once living inside of me, <laughs> and now you're here. As your own entity, as a musician, and you're doing a fine job, and together they call themselves Airborne, which is the heir to the throne type deal, and uh, spelled H. E -I -R. And a little background yeah. on that is that uh, Sonny's uh, father uh, is Les Pierce, who is my production par uh, partner, and it's just uh, handing over the reins, so to speak, to passing the torch, passing the torch on to the next generation. Yep. DJ and Sonny are producing partners as well. So there you go. So we have we have, we've asked everybody. We, we put a call out because we were trying to. You know, here's what I was thinking when we talked about this show. Everyone who's an artist starts off as a new artist. Dave, you were a new artist. DJ and Sonny, even though they haven't hit the, the national scene hard yet, they're they're up and coming. Yeah. Right. But they've been working at it for a very long time. So a new Too artist, long. a new artist always wants feedback. And so today I've invited you two here and Dave and I decided on our own that we were gonna have this particular show because it's our job today, guys, to decide, Tony, you included, what's hot. And what's not. Now, here are the rules. Your songs are in. We've made a playlist. But I'm going to tell you that I have a deep, dark Simon Cow in me. Marla, I think Marla just wants to go off on somebody. If I know you personally and I dog your music or I say you're just absolutely not, please don't call my cell phone and get mad. This is about music. It's not about you, the person. Right. It's about your craft. And you have to be able to take criticism if you're going to be an artist, David comes up against that in our house with every single solitary oh, song. Oh yeah, you got to have a album. thick skin. Got to have a thick skin. D DJ, I want to tell you that make sure that you talk into your mic because people want to value the things that you have to say. You care? We you care about you, DJ. Care? Thank you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> That's great, guys. <laughs> so before we even go any further, um, with no further ado, I'd like to show you why these fellas that we have in the uh, studio with us are qualified. So I've asked them um, that we play one of their songs. So this is, I'll let them introduce the song that we're about to hear from, uh, Air, is it Airborne? Is this an Airborne or is this Sunny Ray? Yeah, this is, this is an Airborne uh, production slash song. It's a song, but it's a song that we did a long time ago. Like, Oh yeah, no, this is, a, this is a dope one. It's called Party in the Sky. We did it probably like three years ago. Yeah, but we, we did actually, it three years ago and it was like... It was it, it was a time where I was listening to a lot of Kid Cudi, yeah. and there was a lot of dance records out, and um, this is just a nice little record, a nice feel to it. Would you guys be offended if I say you look like the the new generation kid and play? Okay, <laughs> oh let's go ahead god. and hit that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh well, while we're waiting for it to hit, <laughs> <laughs> our DJ is just warming up. 
He's just scratching on his uh, his mouse. While, over while there. he's doing that, um, and Antonio will give us a thumbs up. But in the meantime, Sonny, because yeah. we introduced DJ as our son, but what's right. your actual musical background? Are you trained in an instrument of any kind? Um, well, like Dave said earlier, my dad's a producer, um, and he was cracking the whip on me since I was like five uh, to play piano. So I've been playing piano for. 20 some years um wait let me jump in right there this is no joke uh we used to come <laughs> over i would be working with less and our families were friends so we the kids would come over and they would play marla would hang out with uh, uh sonny's mom lorna and all of a sudden sonny would have to go in and couldn't play outside with the rest of the kids and yep. next thing you know he's doing his hand in studies <laughs> I couldn't even do my homework until I practiced my piano. Going over his scales, and he would be practicing for like two hours. Yeah, yeah. Really? All and right. Like well, let's let's we're gonna we're six we're, years old. We're ready to hear what all that whip cracking turned out. All right, let's check out the song. Yeah. This is seven forty-seven. Yeah. Let me turn my swag on Let me get it in all night To the early morning Shut it down every time Show the world we on Got my wings on now If I go rebel On another level Feel the bass and the treble Put you in my space shuttle When you guys write those songs, because they they definitely seem to fit the format of what you hear a lot of, but is that really, I I can't say that I know that to be either one of your lives. So how do you draw, how does you make that so That's totally our, what are you talking about, Marlo? You sippers? We live in the club. (laughs) You also have to realize we wrote this song a long time ago. Actually, during the time that we wrote this song, I was out of the house. I was 18 years old. Um, doing everything you shouldn't have been doing. Right. Yeah, doing everything I shouldn't have been doing. And this is actually so more secretly on the it side was. of what I was doing. <laughs> so you guys not, the secret's not. out. Guys the up, secret huh? is out yeah. now. The secret's out. <laughs> so. We're you, old enough to handle the you repercussions. Got, you guys are definitely <laughs> pulling right now a love and hip hop thing. Like, exactly. I'm coming. I don't want to come out, but you're on TV. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. You, you're out now. <laughs> so so wow. that's what I was doing. So <laughs> Just yeah. saying. I'm just saying. Okay, so. All right, so now I would say that song was hot. I, hey, that, that I would say the, the song. Room. I'm gonna have to say it's hot. I mean, if that's how you feel. Sandra Hawkins in the argue. chat room said, "I can see the youngsters dancing to that." What are you talking about, Sandra? I'm dropping it like it's hot on that song <laughs> while I'm sipping on my. I don't know what I'm gonna sip on, but something. I'm gonna sip on something. Uh, can we? Can we? Excuse me, guys. This is this is probably one of the most distracted shows ever because we got dogs and kids and Moniz comes with this kind of entourage. But yeah. anyway, so before we do that, let's let's so, so we've heard that you hear what they bring to the table, and it and it gets much deeper than that. Um, right now, I want to go to the first song submitted by first, one of our listeners. And so, what is the first song, and who's who's singing? Tony, it? what do you have on tap for us over there? Uh, I'm Andreas uh, Andreas Nixon. Is that Ad- Andreas Andreas? A U S P R A S. Spell it for us. A-S. Okay. Audrey, Audrey Nixon. Audrey Nixon. Yeah, let's see what and this wh- is. What's the title what's the of, the of the song? I surrender all. Okay. All right. So okay. we have Audrey Nixon. Keep your ears open. Um, get your pens and paper because this is artist number one. So we're gonna go back and review.
All right. So okay. Let's so talk about that. First of all, we can't listen to the whole song because uh, we have I, a lot of songs to go through. We got a lot of submissions to that was get to. A long to. intro, and the intro was very long. <laughs> um, that's kind of old school. It was. Took him to church. <laughs> Took him to church on that. Yeah. What? What instrument? So it was an instrumental. What instrument was that? that was a wow. Sax. That was Some a kind sax. of sax. Yeah, I would say that's a tenor. Actually, like a um, that we had a little bit of an Andre Crouch ish type of, like a because the choir came in at the end. Not Andre Crouch. I mean, I know that's classic, but kind of that it, it really did take me into a Vesper kind of mode. Yeah. So yeah. now, how does that? How do? How would Simon handle that? Uh, dark Simon cow. What Simon would say is, well. I didn't recognize the instrument, so technically it's a nut. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, you know, I, it, it, I, I, I would just say that um, for the genre that it yeah. is, um, it, it doesn't really do it for me. It doesn't do it for me, and if I had to pass somebody on to the next round, it doesn't wow me. And the reason I say that is because there's a lot of times that I hear, or I'm in a jazz environment with you, or I go mm -hmm. out or whatever, mm -hmm. And it's not my genre of music, but they still blow me away. The, right. the dude who licks the the flaming Ken Ford with the violinist, he he's he's a he's a the he's dude a, who licks the flaming, right? <laughs> he's a flaming wow. violin licker. Whoa. No, Ken is the man. Ken is Ken <laughs> yeah. is definitely the man. Who, who gives lap dances? Detox. Well, so uh, I say not. So uh, uh, Marla Simon says not. DJ Detox, what do you say? Um. For what it was, it wasn't bad. You know, I actually used to go to church a lot and listen to, I went to Oakwood University, which is a prestigious music school mm -hmm. when it comes to gospel music. And, uh, you know, um, it wasn't bad. I've heard worse. All right. Uh, is that a hot or not? It's a medium for me. It's not. We're not we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't give out it's lukewarm. It's either hot or not. It's got to be straight up hot or not. Something. Which one is it going to be? Uh, Unfortunately... All right, it's if it's medium, it. It, it's not hot. It's not hot, man. Right. But it's 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 medium. It's not it's not I'm, it's not junk either, though. I it's have not, to say that. Yeah, it's not junk. I would man. not it's hear good that. Stuff. Queenie, can Sunny Rizzle can Sunny Rizzle jump in here? Cause come on, Sunny. Sunny come on, come I want to give man. it a hot. Honestly, for what it was, the arrangement was nice. The plane was nice. Um, it sounded like the mix was cool. For what it was, I give it a hot. Okay. Well, now, I'm going to actually be a little bit more cruel than you would probably anticipate. I'm going to say it's a not, and let me tell you why. A, especially if you do an instrumental, uh, I like the vibe of the instrumental when it first started coming in, the introduction, but it, it probably should have got to where you were trying to go a little, a little sooner. Uh, and yeah. in gospel music these days, I mean, they're coming with it. Yeah. It is no joke whatsoever. And I would say, you know, you could probably could have had some, the choir could have sounded a little bit better. The choir seemed poorly recorded to me. It did. No, uh, I agree with that. And so the competition out there, uh, Audris, is extremely stiff. So if you want to actually turn it into, take it from a knot to a hot, you got to come with it. And I'm, I'm sorry, I don't think you came with it on this one. All right. Sorry, bro. I tried to give you justice, man. I said you were warm, but it just wasn't warm enough, man. <laughs> All right. So now we have time to listen to one more, but then we're going to have to go. No, we have time to go for a couple more. Let's okay. go. Let's hit Let's the see next what we got, one. Tony. Yeah, Brian Anderson, I am some. The, I am somebody. Oh, okay. I didn't Brian say that. And, Brian Keith Anderson, I am somebody. is born with no directions to life and a key to a future that's so unsure dreams of being rich tells mother and father no need to worry he'll make it big someday then mother oh mother smile Cause she knows that her child's not ready for what the world can bring And so dream, oh dream on But with your dream, here's a word you can take When the world seems so unsure Say I, I am somebody I am 
okay. okay. I think we were just getting to the chorus, and unfortunately, that was probably going to be the, the better part of the song. I'm going to call that, uh, right off the bat, I'm going to say this. The song was, it was crisp. It caught my attention. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, it was, it was I'm, I'm giving that a hot. I'm giving it a hot and 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 you're not Simon. You're supposed to be Simon. You're not Simon you at all. What you, you suck. That song was terrible. <laughs> there you go. No, Simon doesn't hate everybody. There are times that Simon lays back and he has to give it what it is. And what I'm saying is, I have to judge on Marla Simon. I everybody Simon. has their own taste. Don't apologize. You're right, D. And what I'm trying to tell you is this: that I say that song is hot. I'm also a lyrics person. Yeah. And I yeah. loved what the song was saying, saying and it yeah. was and it and I like to be able to hear lyrics. Yeah. Nothing annoys me more than to say, what did they say? What mm-hmm. what did they say? Mm-hmm. And not because I'm old, but because it's buried in the song in some crazy mix. Yeah. And forgive us today for anything you see in the background. This is going to be one of those shows that I look back on and shake my head as my grandson is running I, around. I'm trying not to his shake mother, my head. His mother's gone to Roscoe's. The puppy's in the room. We just, I don't even know what's going on in here. But anyway, for that song, Marla gives it a hot. All no. right, Detox, what do you got? So I'm going to give that... A hot, actually. You know, um, I agree with mom. I'm, I'm a big lyricist person. I'm a big lyrics person. I'm into that. So um, when it comes down to it, the message was right. Uh, seems like you, you want to promote uh, the youth, promote the youth in a big way. So I'm down with that. All right. Got a hot from Detox. We got two hots. We we're, we're all we're, look like you're doing something. Sonny Ray, you know what? I want to give it a hot, but after I heard that, I want to take back my hot from the first one. (laughs) (laughs) Now that I got the scale of where we are, I'm sorry. What was the first one called? Uh, I Surrender. uh, Yeah, I Surrender by Algis Nixon. Yeah, you just got downgraded. All right. So, but you 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 can't go back. No, no, I just, I did. So you give Brian. I did, Simon. You give uh, Brian Anderson, I am somebody, a hot. A hot. That's okay. a hot. I would have liked to hear the chorus, too, because I feel like it was about to take off. Well, it, well, Brian, it doesn't really matter what I say because you got three out of four. But this is going to sound crazy. If it crazy. comes to two to two, Tony's our tiebreaker. This, this is going to sound crazy. I'm actually going to also give this one a not. And let me tell you why. Um, I think hmm? the lyrics were very <laughs> positive. The singing was great. I like I liked his voice. Um, I really liked I liked the chorus, but be, from we didn't get to get to the chorus, which is already a problem. If you're going to only be able to listen to a few minute, a few seconds, or less than a minute of a song, which incidentally most A and R people do, they never listen to your whole track unless you've already slayed them in the first ten seconds. Yeah. Because of that, I'm going to say mm, it's a knot. Sorry, and we're going to have to talk a little bit more about this when we come back. Can we get some new tracks? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, listen up. Learn something. 26 years of marriage from two unique perspectives equals 52 years of relationship experience. It's time for Ask Marla and Dave. Answers to your questions about life, love, and relationship based on Marla and Dave's real-life experience. It's about to get real. Ask Marla and Dave. All right. Well, Ask Marla and Dave is a segment of the show where you guys write in and you get to ask us whatever you want to ask us. And we answer as honestly as we can, which is totally transparent. Yeah, if you don't ask, we can't tell. Marla, what's the question? This week's Ask Marla and Dave question goes like this. Having fun is one thing, but it seems like you two have a competitive spirit that is in- intense and goes beyond friendly competition. My question is, where do you draw the line? Also, to Dave, as a man, is Marla's competitive nature a turn on or a turn off? Hmm. When I when I win and shake my booty in your face, that's do a turn you like on. that? When you win is a turn off. When you shake the booty in the face, that's a turn on. So that's even a yes a, and a no. Even a sweaty tennis booty? <laughs> sweaty tennis booty, you like anyway, that? Anyway, I mean, hey, I'll tell you what you <laughs> anyway, uh, he has the man has no standards. He's shameful. I'm going to put it to you like this. Uh, what you guys think is intense. Yes, we we are pretty we're pretty athletic. Right? We have an athletic well, I family. Am for sure, because we have I an a, we have an athletic family and we go at it hard. But and so that what seems extremely intense to you guys is just the high level of athleticism that we compete with. Right. And so, we're intense because we're just badass. Now, if you want to see something intense is when Lexi and I play uh, DJ and Marla in tennis in doubles. <laughs> I gave up on that a long time ago. Don't no, D, what are you talking about? Don't D- back D- out like that. DJ we won last Marla time. Are all, DJ and Marla D- are always fighting. We won last time. <laughs> we won last time, but at the same time, 
it's just not a good look for me. <laughs> it gets pretty <laughs> it's not intense. A good look for me. It gets pretty intense. <laughs> so anyway, now the second half of the question was: Is Marla's competitive nature a turn on or a turn off for me? You know, it is what it is. I love my wife. She's a very competitive person. I'm turned on by my wife. So I guess it's a turn on. How's that? So then you just take those beatings and go, ah, and cry on the court. And you just go, man, I love this girl. You like that? You like that, huh? You went too far. Anyway, 323-284-7826 is the number to call in to the Marlon and Dave show. This is Ask Marlon and Dave. You can actually write your uh, 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 questions to us right there at www.marlondave.com. And let me say this. Before we get out of here, I suggest competition friendly competition or intense competition between you and your significant others because it keeps the relationship hot. Back to the show. Welcome back to the Marla and Dave radio show. Marla and Dave want to talk to you. Phone lines are open at 323-284-7826. 323-284-7826. All right, we're so back to we, the point we, of... We ended up with Brian Anderson. We ended up with Brian Anderson. And he got I gave three it out a of hot. four. He got three hots out of out of four. I gave it a not only because I think I always want people to get better. Well, yours is now three hots and a cot because it didn't do anything. <laughs> but it's like jail. It's like, you know, that's just what it is. So you know, we again um, three two three two eight four seven eight two six. We'd love for you to call in and give your opinion on some of the songs Absolutely. that you're hearing. Absolutely. Absolutely. You, 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 if you're listening, your song is played, call in and tell us something about it. See if you can change our mind. Because a lot of people are listening, and I'm sure those who have submitted are listening. Sometimes you might be a little afraid to join the chat room. Uh, but if, you, if you're if you on here actually listening or however you're participating, call in. 323-284-7826. Shouldn't you be afraid to join the chat room when someone, you, isn't it better to throw your songs out there and kind of hide behind the chat room or criticism? Anyway, so let's get to another song. What do we have on the, on tap right there, Tony? Cleon Richardson. Cleon Richardson. Does this song have a title? Uh, uh, higher. Cleon. I, I think it's high, higher, right? I, I don't know. I didn't. It just says Cleon, but <laughs> we'll play it. Cleon Pie. <laughs> that sounds good. Cleon Pie. That's Cleon good. Richardson. I think it's called Higher. We come to sing praises, we come to sing hallelujah, we come to just worship, we come to just raise up Jesus higher and higher and higher and higher in this place. We come to sing praises, we come to sing hallelujah, we come to just worship, we come to just raise up Jesus higher and higher and higher and higher in this place. Island, baby, Gala Gala Island. <laughs> I is we okay. Okay, I'm gonna be the last one on this one. All right, I'm gonna start off on this one. Then I think it's hot. Let yeah. me tell you why. The reason why I think it's hot because it's very different. Though, no, regardless of how different and unique it is, it caught me with the energy right away. And yeah. no matter what they were saying, everybody in the studio was Started dancing moving. to it. That's true. Immediately. So it, the song has something. Cleon, it's hot. Higher is hot. Dave, that that one gets a hot from Dave. That's oh so hot. From Dave is low key the that's, real Simon. You know why? Dave's first hot because Dave has gone all over the world. And is that song from Africa? Is that like a? Yeah, so it's, it's, one like, of, it's one of our African uh, uh, listeners that actually sent that in. So you understood that you just got all into that right away because he was like. <laughs> You wasn't just remember, everybody? Like wasn't everybody? Everyone was into yeah. it as soon as it came on. Like I the could tribe. see the spirit dancers and everything. Right. <laughs> yeah. You could see the whole video. We were head. on the safari. Um, I actually am going to give it a hot as well for all those same reasons, even though not the musical reasons. I just thought that the song came right away and it commanded something. I, I mean, in other words, it doesn't have to be my genre of music or something that 
I I I like for I liked it for what it was. I liked it for the for the energy. It had a great vibe. And and yeah. it was and it was something I could understand. Same goes for me. That's a hot man. You got it in. I don't know, man. I'm leaning towards not. What? Yeah, okay, look. It had energy. But one thing, I didn't really get the structure. Like, where was the structure? Where's the verse? Where's the hook? It just seemed like a bunch of little hooks one after the other. You know what? The other thing is, I'm a I'm a producer. So when I hear a stylus loop just out there in the open, like you just used a stylus loop. You didn't add anything to it, bro. You didn't work with it. That's a stylus loop. I know that little hand clap stylus (laughs) loop. I've heard that a bunch of times. (laughs) That's why you got a knot from me, but. It did have well, you energy. You know what? It got three hots and a cot and a knot from you. <laughs> and all I'm gonna say is, who cares about what you have to say, piano boy? <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, okay. so we're gonna we're gonna move on to the next one. That's three out of four. Good good job, Cleon. What's e- up? What's Everett up next? Miller, our God. Everett Miller, our God. Perfect. Let's check it out. Majestic is your name, and heaven and throughout the earth, even in the universe unknown, you still reign on the throne. No other name, no other way to be healed or saved. All right. Mm. All right, Simon. Mm. I'm going to say. I'm, feeling, um, I'm not feeling good about this one. Yeah, I, nah, it, this it, one isn't something very about the way he presented the vocal. I, I th- it's clear he can sing. Yeah. It just wasn't a tone I can appreciate. It sounded like it was truly the grand and the That's it. Did you record that song? <laughs> <laughs> Simon. <laughs> so so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually, it, and it didn't, for what it was, which is clearly contemporary Christian, it had an old school vibe, but it just didn't do enough. Yeah, I fully agree. So, um, and and we're gonna ask Marlene to stop walking back and forth because you're disturbing the people in our chat room who've said disturbing that, the peace that they that the walking back and forth and all the noise happening in our show is a problem for the people in the chat room. So, so uh, anyway, okay, so. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to pass on this one too. It yeah. just didn't rise to the to standard of today's music. Nothing um, really stood out about it. And yeah, every, it was the, slow. While it, while was, it was a good song, I liked the way it was written. The the, the, the presentation of it just didn't rise to today's standards in, in my book. Yeah, I agree. Me not. Too. So we a, all give it a not straight not across N-O-T's. the board. So not even our boy Tony Sweet can unwind that. You that's got, just a hell no. <laughs> nope. All right, let's go on to the next one right quick. N-O-T. Who we have on board? Uh, Destined to be a star, but he has three songs. All right, so Destined to be play? a star. We're going to have oh, to yeah, decide. It so it's uh, I, Clothes I Don't Fit, which is kind of funny because I've heard these. Uh, uh, let's, let's take that one. Tender Love. Take Clothes Don't Fit. All right, we're going to Clothes Don't Fit. <laughs> shopping, shopping.
Okay. Say this before right. I say anything. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The musical production of that honestly is horrid. However, <laughs> however, there is. I was super entertained by that song. I kind of want to hear the rest of it to see where it goes. It's kind of a sick. <laughs> Wait a minute. That song gives you a sick. So it's a sick addiction. That song is a sick addiction. I don't care what you say. I really so that, was so like, you're, you're you know, giving it the Millie Vanilli. I'm so fat. Millie up Vanilli in my thumbs a. up. Just want to go and do a play. I was like, even though you're like, what? And it was. There's a, there's a weird Al Yankovic, and I'm sure he's not making it hot. See, if I'm they were playing, yes. if they were joking around. I would say that's hot because they accomplished what they well, wanted. Clearly, it has I to be a joke. But I think they were serious. No, no, no. No, no I think they were serious. <laughs> uh, detox. Well, first of we all, we can't interpret the, the the actual comedic. We should give him another chance. He's artist. sending another song. Right? She. It's a 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 she. Do, do you want to give it? Marla, do you want we, well, okay, so to listen one more song? No, we're only going to listen to another song once we determine how many hots or knots we get. I'm going to give this a hot. What? I'm giving it a lot only because wow. it was interesting. Simon Cow, what? Because Ma- we can Marla hear not Simon. Here's what I'm thinking. Simon Wow. Simon. Here's what I'm thinking. Simon Wow. Hold on. Here's what I'm thinking. Simon Wow. I'm thinking that we. <laughs> I'm thinking that we actually keep the actual tone of the song. We give the song to Airborne. Nope. And Airborne goes oh, and redoes no. the tracks. Hell no. Oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Detox. What, what, what's your vote? That's a no, man. No, not. Uh, Sunny no. Ray, <sighs> bro, it's so bad. That's a knot. Yeah, <laughs> if it I, was, if it was a no joke way. song, I would say it's hot because it was funny. I was laughing the whole time. Yeah. But destined nah. to be a star, you know, I, you know, I love you, but I'm gonna have to give that one a knot. Now I do you know appreciate I the the comedic. I appreciate the comedic Me approach too. of the song. Me but too. When it first started, I like the rap. When I the didn't song like anything started, else about it. I couldn't. I couldn't really. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't like the way it was mixed. She's the rapper. I didn't rapper. like the way the balance of the vocal was to the track. And I'm sorry, when you have a, a shot, you have to actually put your best okay, foot Okay, well, now, forward. when you're talking yeah. about I'm the sorry. fact that these songs, let me say this. These songs are going to go forward, and we're going to have um, Claude Villani, who's the president of SRG, wants to weigh in. And so we're going to go ahead and collect the best songs through the next three months. And then he, the record company president, will come in, and we will have the songs that are in the lead that we've all agreed to actually really talk about whether this is signing potential or not. And if That's you dope. think Marla, well, first of all, Marla's not Simon. Apparently I'm the Simon. Yeah, today. you are. You so, are. Yeah. and if you no, think definitely. I'm tough, trust me when I say you're, you're, you should be glad that I'm turning this down on your behalf. And if you don't know, <laughs> now you know. <laughs> so, so let's I'm get, so intrigued though. I want to hear another song from that person. <laughs> let's get, let's get a little bit of another yeah, song. Let's do another one. Let's have the same person or a different? Uh, the person? same person. All let's right. do. Let's give Destin to be a star one more shot. Right, we'll just, do. just point and click. <laughs> okay, here we go. What are we gonna get? What? Yeah, what? Do you, where do we keep? You keep. We keep on giving you what? See now, destined to be a star. We we almost did you a favor by actually letting that one shot go through. Yeah. When we played the when we played tender love, uh, it kind of actually took down. Yeah. Uh, my clothes don't fit. That's Sunny Rizzle's bad. My bad. I shouldn't ask for another song. Yeah. Sunny <laughs> yeah. Rizzle was tripping <laughs> up in this nizzle. Uh, uh, the no, funny yeah, thing no. about that, because the people in the chat room were basically saying they they still wanted to hear more of My Clothes Don't Fit. Were they really? They were laughing and oh they loved it. God. And they th- they were trying to see, you know, would, would they Where buy it? it? Going. They don't know. I'm but telling you that the, that, the, that the actual My Clothes Don't Fit, number one, I think that if you're a woman, you can pretty much almost relate to that. And it was comical the way it was put. I like the rap to that Watch song. Watch this. And comical. Nicole Harris in the chat room said it's already etched in her brain forever. It was oh that my funny. God. It was that funny. I can see wow. that. It was, wow. it was and a you, hilarious And look song. at you guys. You guys <laughs> called it a knot. I said pass it, it through. It is a knot. That's well, a knot that I'll like bump this. in my car, though. Weird Al Yankovic, <laughs> Weird Al Yankovic isn't somebody that I listen to on a regular. 
that's Weird Al Yankovic's comedy. It's a special genre yeah. of music. But it's all music, DJ. That's why when you do the Grammys, they even give a Grammy for polka and the best spoken word. Because okay. it's all, all right. art. All right, all right. Uh, uh, Tony, what do we have on tap? Julia Royston. Ju- uh, Julia Royston, A Christmas Miracle. Let's listen to it. Season? That. Okay. Santa on Christmas Eve Not just presents underneath the tree What I need can't you see Sent from God above me Is a miracle A Christmas miracle Hey, with me, chestnuts roasting certainly to please. This happens with the mistletoe. Okay, here's what I want to tell you. Th- this is when I have to be honest, um, and I know if you're listening, I'm sorry. You will probably never watch our show again. Oh, uh, you should. Y- I because want you to take take the criticism and try again. Now, is this criticism or is this rude to say uh, what the hell? <laughs> that we, what what I didn't get. There was nothing. The vocal on that, the production on that, it sounded like it was recorded poorly in a can. It's a, it's she it wanted to be Patty LaBelle. Pretty good. She wanted to be Patty LaBelle's. I, 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 couldn't, I didn't care for her voice at all. It was That's what, what did you think about the song? Um, I didn't or care you for the song the voice. at all. All right, now see, now this is what I'm going to say, uh, Julia. Because of what Marla just said, the package counts. If I can't get past the vocal... I'm not going to be able to appreciate how great of a song that it could, might or might not be. What you're saying. But I won't get past the packaging. And not only to mention, Bolton28 in the chat room said, vocals, nope. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of how I feel, too. Come on. Vocals, I'm not nope. even a musician. And a lot of times, if you're just a songwriter and you're trying to get your song on, keep that in mind. When yeah. you do the demo, get somebody that sounds like what they're playing on the radio. Because when I, if I'm an artist and I'm going to have to pay you uh, every time that a song gets paid, it's got to be better than what I think I can do myself. And the fact of it's got to be a smash. This, the fact of the matter is this: I have a I have a bad attention span. A lot of <laughs> listeners nowadays, and that's the fact. Yeah. yeah, a lot of listeners nowadays have bad attention spans, and I'm not going to sit there and listen to. You sure? Yeah, no. But I'm you not. will listen to my clothes don't fit. No. <laughs> My so clothes don't un- fit. I'm a un- bump dish. Un- un- unfortunately, Julia, uh, that's, that's going to no. be a not across not, the board. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so, and you hear the music in the background. It means it's time for us to go to a break. We're going to hear more songs in the next uh, segment. Well, after the next segment, when we come back from this break. It's time for the Marla and Dave Doghouse. Marla has something that should put Dave in the doghouse. Dave has something that should put Marla in the doghouse. You decide who gets a biscuit and who gets busted and ends up in the doghouse. doghouse. All right, I'm going to start off with this doghouse segment this week because uh, I, even when we, I was trying to promote this show that we're doing right now, a couple of days ago, after I got beat on the tennis court, my, my, my little promo was already angry. And that's probably why I'm so Simon today, because I, like I said in the promo, <laughs> just, I'm already go, mad because because I didn't win. Let but it go. Let me tell you why Marley goes in the doghouse. Tennis, uh, golf, these are gentlemen sports, uh, a gentle uh, lady sports. And so what ends up happening is Marley's going to go in the doghouse for two things today. Um, you just saw a little bit of it in the background. Uh, but what ends up happening is Marla beats me. And she knows I'm, my blood sugar's low because I'm hungry. That's why she won. Um, but then she goes into full-fledged head smack talking, then dancing and shaking a booty in my face and taking videos on me and everything. It's just too much. Taking videos on you? <laughs> yeah, just, literally. She was on me while she was taking the video. Yes, you're welcome. And I'm trying to sulk and get my, you know, get my attitude together. And she's like, yeah, take this. Uh, 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 uh. 
Yeah, so didn't you know what was going to happen when that, I spanked that wasn't that very ass? that wasn't very uh, oh, who a, a said very I was gentleman like or lady like conduct or sportsman like conduct to begin with. Thank you know you. why Dave's going in the doghouse? It's very simple. Last week I skyped in. Dave called me after it was all over and said, "Uh, yeah. Um, did you see your hair? You looked a mess." I was like, "What?" I said, "My hair was combed well." That's what I was trying to kind of give you a heads up on the show, saying Marla doesn't look like she normally looks <laughs> yeah. on the show. It you, did you call me ugly? Mar- Mar- <laughs> no, Marla I goes back did. in the doghouse for not being able to take a hint. Now the last reason why the Marla's going to stay in the doghouse is because on the way over here today, I said Marla, why do we have all these people coming to the studio? It's going to be hard to it's hard to manage Monique in the I- studio by herself. Now she has a dog and her son, <laughs> and our grandson. That's true. Okay, so but you Marla, know what? Sometimes I, I'm going to give the you family, the opportunity to just walk into the doghouse and lock the no, door. No, you have to pick one thing because I think that the being called ugly or by your husband <laughs> definitely deserves a pillow and a bone. First of all, and exaggerating the issue, actually you put said you I look back a mess. in the doghouse. It's the fourth thing. You said I look a mess. You anyway, you, you guys what, what get you to doing? decide, Sandra Hawkins. I know. But guess what? So much so that you even said, I mean, thank God, Tony just finally put your picture up. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's the doghouse. <laughs> who's going who's going to go in the doghouse? Who's going to get the bone? You guys get to choose. Back to the show. <sighs> what, what, what's the action? You'll laugh. <laughs> You'll learn. Huh? You'll learn. Mm-hmm. You'll get mad. Shut up. You'll get happy. <laughs> but you won't be bored. This is the Marla and Dave Radio Show on the Universal Broadcast Network. All right, so uh, I think we got a, just a couple more before we go into the voting phase. Uh, so, d- Tony, I thought we've been voting this whole time. Yeah, we, but we're we, gonna we're we gonna go gotta, back over and, and we gotta, gotta pick, pick one winner. We gotta pick one out of oh, those oh, no, who, who gets tough. who gets some stars. We're not even gonna talk about what's not hot. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Tony, who's up? Michael Edgecombe. Ooh, Michael Edgecombe, and his song is called Believe. song that's off broadway <laughs> yeah honestly it would fit on like a play yeah like in it's a play kind of soundtrack ish is what you yeah. guys are saying and quite honestly i i loved um uh, the instrumentation that he was using the orchestration yeah. that he was yeah demonstrating what he was trying to do with it, it what I, I like where he was going Here's the first thing that I'm gonna have to say, and 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 I love Mike, uh, and I've been knowing Mike Edgecombe for a long time. Matter of fact, the way I started learning how to play the piano was sitting there listening to my brother and Mike Edgecombe, who had a group that used to play around. Oh, so you, so right. your musical talent has been bitten from others. 
uh, all musical talent is inspired by others. No, not inspired. Okay. You, you actually bit. You took Everyone it Everyone learns how to pl- how from someone else. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So no. if you want to call that biting, we call it education. Anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I, the song is called Believe, and I think we listened to over 60 seconds of it, or right at it, and we never got to the word believe. Never. I have a problem That's with okay. that, Mike, to be honest But it, it did kind of put you in an ethereal, drifty kind of... I felt like... Mm. Like I was gonna be. Mm. Like, Is anybody ready to vote? That's the that's the key. Um, would you, would you buy it? No, I was ready after like twenty seconds. No, no, yeah, no, it. That's no. Not, it's not. Man. I'm sorry. No. Oh, Mike. I love Mike. I'm Mike, sorry. And Mike actually called us and asked us and begged us to actually be nice to him. And we're <laughs> so Mike. So oh, he's that's so, a double knot. So so Mike, here's what I want to say. No, sir. That's your nice. That you got a nice. No, sir. Not this time. No, Did you and, know what? And by the way, I want to say this to all the artists who are sending in these submissions. When we do this next month, on the next time we give you the, the heads up, submit again. Take yeah. the criticism. Yeah. Be like American Idol. Take it to heart. Make the changes and come back stronger next time. You get two time. chances to come You're back. You're getting if real you get critique denied here. Any day you get two, unless it's the last round, you get two chances to come back. If you get denied the second time, it's out. You're done. Um, for those of you who saw me cracking up, I also there are people in the chat room. There are also people who are sending messages or listening to the show. Um, and I just got a message that said, please, no Christmas miracles. Make it stop. <laughs> so it's kind of like after the fact. You know, I, I'm mad that you don't believe in miracles. But I, what I'm saying to you is, you know, believe. 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 Now, 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 again, if you got denied today, resubmit, take the criticism, resubmit, and and join your friends in the final rounds. Anyway, so, Tony, who's who do you have left? Sheena O. Murray won. And this Sheena is like a O'Murray. gospel sing-off, for real. Actually, I don't think that one was gospel. But let's hear what Sheena has to, is bringing to the table. That seems. When you lay in my arms, you're my heart and my lungs. You're the end and the start. I feel what you feel. I cry when you cry. I am bound to you. You're the light in my life. We are one. Understand where that one was going. I, I like the fact that she got to a verse in the chorus really quick. Yeah. Uh, and um, I, I think that with the again, I feel like sometimes this is like you know when I do when I do fitness training, and I see a body that needs improvement, and everybody else can't see what the body would look like with the right nutrition and perfect training over a period of time. Right. I can immediately see that in a body. I feel the same thing about <laughs> about. Um, about this song, what I feel like is some kind of way. I feel like that that there's something more. It's deeper than music. For to me. this, yeah, I, and not that it's deeper. I think that she has another that she, with the right song that she could be in a really good potential. Um, I'm gonna say this. I didn't like the production quality of, of the song itself. Um, I think that if you're gonna have a very minimalistic approach yeah. to your production. Your voice has to be throwing down. It has to. Yeah. Your voice. The production has to demand that minimalistic approach. I don't think that the vocal. It sounded like that was coming in though. Like there was a lot more instrumentation coming in there. You think the so? We cut it off. Well, but I agree with you though. Yeah. If you're gonna have that minimal, you gotta be. We are one. Yeah. I mean, it's gotta be like, oh my god, listen to that. What, voice. what did you just turn? Her Michael timbre McDonald's? was nice though. She had a nice tan. Did you just become Michael McDonald? We are one. We are one. But you see what I'm saying? It has to be something yeah. that says, oh, listen to that vocal. Right. Because I'm only going to be, you know, using some uh, some bongos. 
and, 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 and a piano. piano that's going ding ding arpeggiating the whole time. Right. Not even throwing down on the piano, just ding 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 yeah. ding ding ding. And the beep, 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 in the background, the vocal has to. Okay, be so buffing. that's a knot. It, it's it's a no for me. And I, Sheena, I, I, I say, come back, give us a resubmit. I liked her tone, though. I did. I, I'm I definitely like her tone. Because everyone crazy. is saying that they like like your voice. Yeah. I feel uh, like it was while the production it seems like, was lacking. I'm not saying I like your voice. I think that uh, this was just the wrong package for it. Yeah. Not. Yeah. Wrong song? It's not for me either, but it was a good song. The production was lacking. Yeah. I her, think on so. a, her on another track could be hot. All right, now we're going to have to move a little fast, a little more uh, uh, swiftly. Next song. Two more. Uh, Savoy Ellis. Savoy Ellis, and I think this one is called Everything featuring K 12. Let's check it out. That's a not. Did. That's a not for me. Oh wow, that well, was a not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, let me tell you why. First of all, you know, one of the things I actually uh, have have learned to fall in love with with Sonny and DJ when they do their production is I have never in my life heard a song that has such strong hooks. That hook started to annoy me. It didn't. Okay. It didn't do anything. It was like you know, it was the same wanna thing, but be, the beat was wanna changing, be. Though. Just wanna be, wanna be, and I'm like, please stop it, please stop it, please, just yeah. cut it, please. So, okay, so that's a no. Marla's getting her Simon on. She's she's warming up. Okay, D, D, detox. What you got? It was good. I mean, it it seemed like it was an old school feel, but at the same that's, time, yeah. uh, it just it didn't grow. It, yeah, it didn't I kind grow. of agree with what Marla said. Like. I see. He was going. He was obviously going for an old school feel. Yeah, yeah. He was saying, "Take it back to the old school," and they definitely nailed that part of it. And the production was cool, but the writing was whatever. I'm glad you guys said that. This was the exact reverse of what we've been dealing with. The yeah. polar opposite. This time, the package was great. Yeah. But the song itself just didn't do it for me. Yeah. So that. It, that being said, uh, Savoy, I would really recommend that you try again because you yeah, got some for skills. Sure. I would want to hear more from you. Savoy. Definitely got some skills. So, but unfortunately, you didn't pass the mustard today. I think we're down to one last song. Right, Joya Marie. Joya Marie, and this one's called Therapy. Called static. Okay, uh, here it comes. Here it comes. i 
All right, I think we heard enough of that one. I, I like hot, it. hot. I'm calling this hot. Yeah, that that was one of the hottest we've heard. I all think day. yeah, that's why I said ooh because my ooh is. So are we grading on a curve here? Well, we. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that how we do it? <laughs> I I say no, that that's we can't the grade cool. on a curve. No, I say hot. I'm sorry. I Sandra that Hawkins to go is through. saying quiet storm, or Nicole was saying somebody's saying quiet storm in the chat room because she's putting me to sleep. But I'm going to say this. Well, what I liked Stop about it, it. You can't bounce out to everything vo- you hear. The vocal and the production quality of the track matched. Yeah. yeah. Everything was going the same place. The one criticism that I had was when you got to the chorus, I would have loved to have a, at least the vocal doubled. Yeah, you know I was saying? waiting for those back three or four, and that would have been would have just been tight. Yeah. Even if you did it unison the first time, yeah. and came back with some harmonies on the next so go you, round. So you're suggesting that she send the song in, and you guys are going to remix it. And add <laughs> I don't know about that. And nah. I still say, if the song Oof. needs remixing, you're you're in, you're walking a tight line of yeah. not making it. Tony but, Fontana says hot. Bolton twenty eight says I'm feeling it. But can I give some constructive criticism? Yeah, yeah. We, we, why else are you here? Okay. Um, if you listen to Music Soul Child, because it kind of had a Music Soul yeah, Child that's, vibe. That's what came to mind. Music Soul Child uses a lot of harmonies when it comes down to his hooks and when it comes down to his pre-hooks. Yeah. There's a lot of harmonies that he likes Back to throw rounds. in there that, that, that adds to the effect of the song. Yeah. And it was kind of plain, but at the end of the day, I still feel what you were trying to do. She could have came with something a little hookier with the therapy thing in the hook, like it's some backgrounds, like a little hook behind it. But I still think it's hot. Yeah, yeah. We, we're going we're going to give you we're going to give you a hot uh, Joya uh, across the board. So that being said, um, touch that song up, touch it up. Yeah, touch it up a little bit and let us hear us next time. Resubmit it after you touch, touch it, it up. up. That's yeah. a good idea. Let us know where you were really we were really going with that one. Anyway, okay, so. Uh, we have uh, just about another minute. Why do we? Is moonlight in there somewhere? Do you have moonlight? Yeah. 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 Let's right, check let's, out let's, che- let's check out. This is this is a um, one of my favorite tunes, Sunny and and D. Uh, okay, we're gonna it, when we play this song. This is interesting because we know that Lexi as well, our youngest daughter, is talented, um, but. D came. She came home from school on a break. They these two guys recently were in the studio. He DJ swoops her up, takes her to the studio. The next thing you know, he comes home. Mom, you have to hear this. We yeah. might not have it. Uh, Tony's looking like we don't I have, have it. it. On, I have it on. It's I, been I, it's I, been played on the show before. Um. Anyway, let's let's listen to something else on on the way out. Give us something. Tell us. Give us a little intro of something. Um. Let's do piece of me. Okay, this song is um, a song. Actually, I started producing not too long ago. Um, I did um, a good portion of this beat, and um, this song is a love song, but it's a song about... Who are you writing this about? That's what I want to know. Yeah, tell us. Don't tell us. <laughs> Give us a name. Nah. The famous <laughs> thing in my house is that DJ says... Um, Seriously, though, you want the truth? And we're like, no, lie to us. <laughs> so he has no problem telling us the truth. Let's just check out the track. I've been worried about all the wrong things. Said you need time, but I'm spending all day. Out of all my grind, trying to get the cake So I can eat it too But I give it all away If it means I'll be with you Just to be with you All the cake in the world for a piece of you For a piece of you I would give up all my cake for a piece of you Say you want time and affection I ain't trying to lose my blessing. I'ma cross my T's, I'ma dive my eyes, I'ma ride like a V8 engine. I ain't tripping. Set it off like Jada. When I say Jada, I mean kisses. That body's so delicious. I lick it. Alright, guys. It's time to play the Marla and Dave Love Game. Here are Marla and Dave to explain how it works. Ah, oh, the love game. It's so you know what? I'll take that back. My exuberance is gonna be down to hey, what's up? It's the love game today. <laughs> The love game really is a hard game to play when you play it with your kids or your parents or, more importantly, your son. 
ill. Please, God, don't let him roll sex. <laughs> the Love Game is a game created by Marlon and me. It has three categories, sex, communication, and finance, the categories that we think most uh, affect our relationship. Um, and so it's played by rolling a single die. It has the MAD logo, which means you can choose any category you want. It has sex and it has finance and all the categories are there. Represented it also has lose a turn. You don't want that. Sonny Ray, roll the dice. MAD logo. You Mad get logo. to choose. Sex, sex, communication, or finance. Sex. Hey, oh, he God. is a we man. Just, we go in there. He's a man after all. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, All right. Uh, please let it not be. Were there other erection. categories, or did you just say sex? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a good one. All right. Do men have a G spot? Are you asking me? The qu- uh, the, you're going to have to answer, oh, Sonny. You thought you could pull the oh. card and then be a typical dude and just like ignore <laughs> the question? Do men have a G spot? Do men have a G spot? You've heard of the famous um, if G it's spot. True, I don't want to know where yours is. Neither do I want to hear about yours. <laughs> Uh, uh, Sonny, what do, you, what do you think the answer is? The nipples. No, I'm playing. <laughs> is that a yes or a no? Do no. men have no. a G spot? No. DJ, what do you, do you think men have a G spot? No. I think that men definitely have a G spot, and their G spots are young and undeveloped. They haven't found them yet. <laughs> now these answers are. are I are, think we, there's a. I think there's a twist to this <laughs> question. We, that we I'm research. Not sure, I'm a ready twist. For it. Our answers come from sure the PW or twist. the Pew Research Center, and. Unfortunately, young guys, the answer is yes. It's your, Men it's, do have I'm a G spot. I'm pretty sure that you find it through. Okay, maybe and I'm sorry. It's I'm, right I'm under your mom, come here. No, no, okay, no, no. my mom's here, and she said I'm pretty sure it's at the tip of your penis. <laughs> well, no, it's, it's actually not. It's located in, the, in your prostate. In you have to go through your gland. anus. Unfortunately, I told you. I knew the, it. Well, the way to get there is through the anus. Now, but it is it 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 exists. <laughs> Now, no, the good thing about not for the, me it doesn't. The good thing about <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. The good thing about the uh, Mad Love game is that it always has a, a further discussion point that makes it really fun when you play with your friends in a big group. Actually, the bigger the group that you're playing with, or the more uh, rowdy the group, is going to be really fun. The further discussion point for this the one is: <laughs> Are men willing to allow their partner to stimulate their G spot? Okay, so now let me say this, because I this is something that has been well. I'm gonna have to keep it super kosher because this <laughs> DJ is he know he's just too much. He knows he all, does no boundaries. You should now Marla's constantly trying to say, "Let me stimulate your G spot. You're gonna love it." Now, here's the thing. Are yeah. you serious? Here's the thing. I sing pretty high. Here's the thing. <laughs> I think that it is fair that. I should suggest that nails such as these would be a hazard and that's to this, a, that's it, this a, sexual adventure. Not a good idea. I think it should definitely be a hazard. And I want my mother who's sitting in the room, the nurse, to know that it is not mother. Don't go out looking for the G-spot at the tip of the penis. And it's actually, not. It's I heard prostate, that Mimi. when, when uh, you have to get uh, stimulated for to donate, your penis gets hard. They don't actually give you a hand job. They actually go in from and the other side. And tickle your prostate. And actually rub the prostate from the mm. back. And that's how they collect. Prostate I, I, tickling. I, There's a career. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? Anyway, I haven't done it, so I have no idea. Oh, sure. But I would actually You're the only think one in the room that if knew, you were sure. gay, that's an extra added benefit. What, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. All right. Do we have time for one more? Oh, no. Sorry. Thanks for playing the mad love game. And <laughs> we're going to get back to the show. David is a thinker. I never do anything without thinking about it first. Marla is a feeler. I basically wear my personality on my scene. But when Marla and Dave get together... It's like a match dancing with a firecracker. This is the Marla and Dave Radio Show on the Universal Broadcast Network. Listen, I want to. I'm going to talk to the men right quick in the chat room before we give our our we votes. Get we got to give the poll question. question. Yeah. But even I have to say, Winton J. Ford is in the chat room. He says, "Heck to the no." You know what? Men expect women to be sexually adventurous, and you have no problem wanting to run up in our back end and you want a doggy style and all kind of stuff. Let me tell you something. Anal play is 50-50. You have an anus like I have an anus, so open up. Okay, Marla does not speak for the Thomases. Anyway, <laughs> let's get to this week's poll Everybody question. Everybody has one. The poll Come question, on. The poll question this week was, does being a celebrity entity 
Oh, does being a celebrity entitle the media to exploit your private life? Your options were yes, hashtag publicity trumps privacy, or no, hashtag privacy over press. Now, you have voted, and I'm That's a little tough. slow. What, 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 what would you vote? Uh, I would definitely say that um, privacy over press. I think that here's, here's why I say that right quick. Especially with what you see in the news, anybody who is a talented person, and this is my PSA announcement, your talent is what God gave you to actually share with the world, and that's what your attention should be about. The fact that it's gone to, you know, how many times you go to the bathroom and all this sensationalism, to me, it takes away from somebody's actual talent. What the media should be focusing on is exploiting what you put out to be exploited. Now, if you're a porn star, let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. But if you're not, then I really just feel like that there should be boundaries. Because once you go down that slippery slope, you then include people who are connected that have nothing to do with anything. That's I true. agreed to be on Love & Hip Hop. You didn't. So should people be writing you and saying, you know, F you, you're ratchet? No. But at the same hmm. time, we have to realize with the emergence of TMZ and all these other people that feed off of the publicity of the... um. <clears throat> celebrities themselves, there's nothing we can do about it, so our opinions are irrelevant. It doesn't matter. The vote that you have is privacy or not. Well, That's what we're quite talking honestly, about. <laughs> it, it, we got a lot of people responding to this one, and 86% said no. Hashtag privacy over press. Yeah. The poll question for next week is, what amount of time is too much time between an engagement and the wedding? Your options are A, six months, B, one year, C, three years, D, no limit. Log on to www.marlindave.com. Cast your vote. Back to the show. Can you handle the truth? This is modern American dialogue in a mad world from two unique, fresh, transparent perspectives. This is the Marla and Dave Radio Show. I'm going to start a campaign called Open Up. All right, so I now- think that... <laughs> <laughs> Marla won't let it go. I think she is going to represent I'm the I'm thinking problem. about equality, and I just want to just say, open up. Mine's, open mine's up. the counter campaign. It's called Shut It Down. <laughs> <laughs> Sit yeah, on it. You, you put those things together, it might be a good time. Okay, anyway. we have to make a vote. <laughs> If, clap, you want clap, e- clap, if you clap. want equality, then stop opening up your booty. <laughs> what? If you want equality, okay, this okay, is where, okay, this this is where D has to <laughs> shut it down before D gets punched up. To say, nobody wants to hear about their mother and getting their booty played with. Come on. <laughs> Let me I, tell you I hear that, boy. D. All right, so, all right, so here's, here's, your, play got here's you here. where we landed. Brian Anderson... Uh, and his song was. Let me get back to it right quick. I, I'm gonna say there's. First of all, there's three hots. I already know who won. Me too. Bri- like Brian Anderson had "I Am Somebody." He had three out of four. Cleon Richardson uh, with the uh, with the island on, or the bro. African style yeah. higher. That got three out of four. And and Joya Marie. And, oh yes, and Joya Marie was the last one. She got four out, four of, out four. of four. I don't know if there's going to be a contest. I think she. If actually I had won. to do anything, honestly, and I know I'm breaking all the rules because I always do, I would push forward Brian Anderson and Joya Marie together. We can only push forward one. So the song that stuck with me though is "Clothes Don't Fit" though, so I feel like we should push that forward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we. But we got to be serious about this. We have to be serious, and I think the last song. only Joya Joy Marie. Marie got, got yeah. four out of four. I really yeah. like the Brian Anderson song personally. Even though I'm now, telling Brian you. Now, Brian Anderson was pretty, pretty confident like in this it. song. He said, this should be the theme song of your show. Well, no. But. Dang, dang man. I, I am sitting right here, Brian. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> even though, yeah, Dave did write a song for his girlfriend back in the day and try to push it off on me later. But anyway, that's not even the point. Okay, that doghouse has been gonna be been bitter. Served. That doghouse has I'm been I'm not going to be bitter. That's why you guys should close the, that, the doghouse door on Dave. But I, I'm going to have to say. It I'm has sorry. to be joy. It has to be has joy to be joya. just by the okay plain by a show of hands structure. between those two. That's what we come to. How many people say Brian Anderson? Can we hear a little piece of it? Yeah, play it again. I don't remember what it was. A little refresh. No, no, uh, yes, I'm not even sure why we're doing this. He got three votes. That's true. He's he right. got three votes. And who and who Joya got all the for winner him? is Joya. Yeah, Joya. Yeah, she won. Okay. Joya, Joya. <laughs> Joya, you're moving on. Uh, contact us, or we'll contact you, and we're going to keep this thing moving. Right quick, let's hear a little bit more from, let, uh, let, before we get out of here, hear, from let's Detox hear, let's hear, Sunny let's Ray. Let's hear Moonlight. Sometimes I 
Sandra Hawkins says that we need to do a song with all the Take Six kids. Now, I don't know that all the Take Six kids can sing, but I know that they're, I don't know. Well, I'm pretty sure they're all talented. There's too many ideas. There's too many (laughs) ideas being thrown around here. We need to come to a clear and concise thing. That was Lexi. And let me just say this. Uh, That was produced by uh, our our, our illustrious guest here, uh, Sunny Rain Detox. Uh, and it was written by uh, you guys as well. The issue is that's how you do a minimalistic approach to yeah. you actually make sure that you stick with the vocalist and produce the vocalist to make sure that she's bringing he or she is bringing it so that it balances the track. You, you little fellows are awfully talented. You know, I'm just saying, you guys, to, and most people at your age, I find, it's very self-focused uh, <clears throat> about their music and getting themselves out. But the fact you can take anyone else in the studio... And get that sound and, you know, put it down like that. Because that's actually a phenomenal song. Now, DJ said he didn't know. When he came home, he said he didn't know that his little sister could sing like that. And he had, he was actually shedding a, crying a little bit. And he had to do one of these, the man cry, when he actually, <laughs> <laughs> when she was putting it down. It was just so overwhelming, for real. Like, I remember I was down there starting on the beat. And then I started writing it. And then when I first heard her, she, she started singing it to me a little bit. And then when we went to the studio to record it and I heard her actually on the track, it was crazy. It was overwhelming. Uh, in the chat room, Bolton28 said, wow. So Bolton28, of our three children, clearly they're all talented. Some are also well-read. Um, but, <laughs> th- yeah. So the, the, they have the musical talent. Um, Into, you guys did a phenomenal job. Sonny? Air five. Air five. <laughs> Good um, job, we fellas. will have you guys back through this process. Yeah. Um, so you'll be every time we want you to bring us some new music because it's always cool to hear kind of what everybody's thinking about. Um, we got a lot of stuff coming up on the Marlon Dave show. Um, bear with us. Um, now you it's feel like that every time you turn around, you can find something going on with us or our family. Um, Dave, uh, Take Six is dropping a new CD or a new album or a the new single EP. single came out, climbing the charts already. When Angels Believe. Cry. The CD is called Believe. It comes out next March. But the single is available right now. Get it on iTunes, anywhere you buy music, Amazon. D- uh, Sonny, where can they find you and your music? Is there a SoundCloud? Is there a- Just Google Sonny Ray. I'm everywhere. Yeah. All right. D- Detox, DJ? SoundCloud.com forward slash official hyphen D hyphen talks. Okay, that we'll write that on our website. Clearly, no one can keep up with that. That's just, it's okay. <laughs> it's good stuff. Um, you can good find stuff. us on the website at all times. Please write in, ask us what you want to know. Um, you can also find me on Love and Hip Hop throughout the rest of this season. I'm not sure what episode because they don't tell me. I see it when you see it. So by all means, log on and then feel free to you know talk to me about whatever you want. I, see you I, guys next week. I'll see you next Great week. Great show. Yee.